Good morning, this is Keisha Spivey and I'm bringing you your Friday fire. I want you to look with me briefly at Psalms 13 and it's verse 6. It reads as this, it says, I will sing to the Lord because he has dealt bountifully with me. I want to read that again. It says, I will sing to the Lord because he has dealt bountifully with me. And as I read that this morning, I sat on the word bountifully and I started thinking about that thing. And I started thinking about the areas in my life that I didn't feel were so bountiful. And immediately the list started running off. I wish this was this way. And I wish this was that way. And I wish I had this and I wish I could do this. Then all of a sudden I had to stop and command my mind to come to attention. And then I had to choose to reflect on all the things that I so easily take for granted. I started thinking about the blessings and the gifts and the mercy and the favor and the goodness of the Lord that I take for granted every single day. He deals bountifully for us, but something in this earth suit of ours makes us wanna focus on the bad instead of the good, focus on the sad instead of the amazing. And I immediately thought of this COVID crisis and I taught last night in the class that it's been 23 weeks since the first death, which was February 6th, of someone in the U.S. of this virus. And then I thought, thanks be to God, it was not you. God is dealing bountifully with you in your health. So even if everything about your health is not the way it should, or the way you want it to be, you are still here. So the breath in your body, the blood flowing through your veins lets you know that this thing is far from over from you. There is still hope. There's still opportunities. There's still fresh morning, fresh day, fresh grace for you to move forward. As you think about your marriage, as you think about relationships, know everything may not be the way you want them to be, but you are not alone. First, God is with you. And second of all, he has put someone or people in your life that care about you. You're good, you're bad, and you're ugly. There's someone who cares about what's concerning you. That's dealing bountifully with you. Okay, maybe you don't live in the house that you wanna live, but at least you didn't sleep under a bridge last night. Thank God you have a place to lay your head at night. No, you're not driving the car you want to drive, but at least you're getting from point A to point B. God is dealing bountifully with you. So as I read this verse this morning, it talks about choosing to sing. Today, I want to challenge you to get a song in your heart, get a pep in your step, and choose to be grateful for all the things that God is doing, has done, and still yet to manifest in your life. You can sit here and you can sing a sad song if you want to. You can choose to be pitiful if you want to. But I am choosing today to sing a song of power because greater that is in me than he that is anything that can come against me in this world. I am choosing to sing today because in Jesus Christ, I am more than a conqueror. In Christ Jesus, I am the head, not the tail. I'm above only and not beneath. I'm, pl I'm blessed when I come in and I'm blessed when I'm going out. He's dealing bountifully with me. And for me, if I can't think of anything today, what I can't think back to is over 2,000 years ago, he sent his son who hung on the cross for me, for my sins. He hung there not just for me, but instead of me. He's dealing bountifully for me. He came for the sins that I've already committed, but he's even come for the mistakes I'm gonna make tomorrow because guess what? We all fall short of the glory of the Lord. God is dealing bountifully with us. So right now, I don't care what you've got going on and what situation you're facing. I want you to choose to cultivate an attitude of gratitude. Choose to sing, choose to rejoice, choose to be glad. Choose to be glad. Think about the energy it's taking you to just grieve and be sad and to complain and remain. When you can take that same energy, you can take that same focus and get thankful and ask God to start showing you ways and opportunities and open doors and things that you can do in his power, in his might to move your life forward, to move purpose forward, to move toward the destiny that he ordained for you before you showed up in planet earth. Yeah, you can choose to sit here in sadness and in sorrow, or you can choose to seek the one that sent you here and start being glad and grateful and understanding that the bountifulness that he's dealing with you ain't about you. It's not for you. It's for his glory and it's for the purpose and the plan that he has 
for your life. Get you off your mind. Get you off your mind and realize that God has a plan and a purpose for your life. And he is dealing bountifully for you and with you for him. Sing, rejoice, be thankful. Be thankful because somebody somewhere would want to trade lives with you if given the opportunity. Somewhere, someone, somewhere just wants to drink clean water. Somewhere, someone just wish they knew where they were going to sleep tonight. Somewhere, someone wish they had your problems. So sing, be grateful, and ask God what he's aiming to do through you as he's taking you through this place, wherever you are, to that place he's ordained for you. Sing, because God is dealing bountifully with you for him. Now be about your father's business. So God bless you. Have an amazing Friday. I will see you next week and do you to the max.